<laughs> I'm Michael Mulet here, monitor engineer for Nickelback with the lovely new SD7. Uh, <laughs> been uh, out doing monitors 27 years, thereabouts, uh, for people like uh, Rush, Van Halen, Perfect Circle, Macy Gray, Cheap Trick to uh, all sorts of people, I guess, over the past 27 years. Uh, just got my brand new SD7 for the uh, Nickelback Dark Horse Tour, uh, upgrading from a D1, which is what I used on the last tour. I uh, started using Digico products, so when one was given to me for a, a perfect circle tour back in 2003, uh, thought I was getting a Midas H3000, and there arrived a D5, which is great. Got to learn in a day. Uh, just love the product, and I use it use a Digico console whenever I get the chance to, whenever budget constraints allow me. Uh, moved up to the SD7 because, hey, it's new. <laughs> and uh, lots of great new features on it. Uh, being able to move around your mixes anywhere you want, as opposed to where uh, the D5, they're pretty much static. Uh, great sounding console, great new mic pre's. We're running uh, about 52 inputs. Uh, there's two drum kits on stage, as well as eight different uh, vocal positions, uh, which where the D7 comes in handy because I can switch between each each vocal mic position to uh, either Chad or Ryan's particular settings with the touch of a button, which helps me out a lot because they run around the stage quite a bit. Between the D5 and the D7, yeah, uh, the console is a lot better, a lot less, uh, a lot less movement on the EQ. Uh, I will say that. The band has noticed it as well. Uh, Daniel Adair, the drummer, uh, the first rehearsal or second rehearsal came up to me and goes, I don't, not that the monitors have always been bad, but this just sounds amazing. What have you done? I said, well, we've got a new new console. He goes, it just sounds amazing. He was really happy. The band, uh, the rest of the band are pretty uh, nonchalant about things, so no, good, no news is good news for them. So they haven't even noticed the transition. It's been really smooth. Uh, you know, the one thing I like about the, D, the D7 is being an old guy and all the Digico products, as opposed to having only one screen that I'm, that I'm constantly having having to uh, dodge through and, and page through. I can grab anything at any time on this console. It is now Claire Global. And Claire Global is, you know, worldwide. I mean, what more can you say? They've taken care of this tour very well. Uh, feed is coming from Videoland. I actually get a full stage shot since I'm under the stage, which actually helps out quite a bit, especially when the band's down on the thrust. It's, it's very good to see. I don't have to worry about what's going on, you know, in front of me.